Hello and welcome PML fans. Sorry for the technical issues. Um, OBS is being weird right now, so if you see anything cut off, um, that's what the issue is. OBS is being weird. But let's go ahead while everything's still rolling and going. Um, as y'all remember from last stream, if y'all joined us, uh, we went ahead and got everyone level 20 here. So we got Conker, Scrappy, Andy Cheeks, Elvis with the rock and roll. Sod, System of a Down, because Toxtricity uh, reminds me of the song Toxicity. And we got Kraken here, of course. Uh, we got one fully evolved Pokemon, one middle evolved, and everyone else lower form. But we will go ahead and continue with our journey. Um, we did complete... Sorry. We did complete gym number one last time around. And, like I said, I didn't want to over-level for the next gym. So, we're kind of going to roll with these levels and battle some trainers right now. And, uh, also, like, uh, I did want to talk about, if y'all do have any questions or, you know, just want to chat with me, there's always the chat room available for any viewers following along. And we will continue with the stream here. Alright, guys, we're going to go ahead and, I don't, I be, yeah, we did catch our Nuzlocke partner on this route. It was a Stuffle. As amazing as it would have been if it was a uh, flapple, that would have been cool. But uh, being sword, it would have been uh, the other form of flapple, the big bulky one. And me being a more offensive person, uh, I would, eh, not what I would prefer. But we're going to go ahead and take on some trainers here before we get to the next city because the city's not that far away. Alright, we got Cook Stewart on the field. Facing us with an Applin. And that was one of the possible abilities of Pokemon we could have caught. But, um... It didn't actually fall into our kind of Nuzlocke rules. Because I'm kind of just running into the first Pokemon I see. So, but it's a good thing we had everyone to level 20. Because, um... They're at the level 20. So, it, it works out. I'm not sure what level um, the next gym is set to. Like uh, I said at the end of the last stream, I believe it's 25, but <clears throat> you can never be too sure. We do have our uh, Roly Coley Evolution. I forget the middle form's name. But we do have it at level 21, just because that's the level kind of ended up at. And let's go ahead and get all the items we can, because you never know. They can always help us out. And this is another AI camper. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't see that Minchino there. <clears throat> Excuse me, clearing my throat. I'm drinking a little bit, so... Uh, my throat gets a little weird. But we're going to go ahead and continue on. Not face this Minchino. No use in... Uh. Alright, if we can't get away from... Oh my gosh. Why don't you put my little baby to sleep? Sing Rock of My Baby. And let's go ahead and heal that thing up before we take on this trainer here. Uh, for some reason I don't have a full heal. So we're going to go ahead and use this Lumberry. Sod is healthy, and we're going to go ahead and take on this next trainer. And I always, uh, pre-discretion everybody, if I ever sing a song lyric out of random, and it's just like, where the hell did that come from? I also listen to music as I play Pokemon, because it kind of keeps the vibe going and all that jazz. But the best part right now is we have a poison type Pokemon in a diaper, and it's so amazingly cute that we just gotta use it. Alright, now with that cute charm, we're gonna go ahead and switch out here. And let's go ahead and go to uh, Scrappy. Not that it has a move to take advantage of the situation, but. It's always good to have a fighting type out against a normal type. <laughs> and that 
tag goes to nowhere on this Pokemon. Alright, Mancino drops my attack and defense, but I don't think I think Brutal Swing ignores all that, and we go ahead and take it out anyway. Alright, um, they're gonna bring out Steeny, so we're gonna go back to Sod since they're only poison type. Or really any kind of type to be able to take on grass types uh, super effectively. So that's always good to have. And for sure to you guys, uh, Zamora Gaming is brought to you by PML Group. Uh, I'm the head admin there. And if anyone ever felt like they wanted to join a draft league or just play in a tournament or, you know, get, get, get free Pokemon, you can always join PML and we can uh, meet your needs there with all that. We have gyms, we have pretty much everything you could want in a Facebook group. It's as real as Pokemon can get for you until they actually uh, create real ones scientifically. <laughs> Alright, we got a good chunk of money out of this person. And we continue on to this next person right here. My part in Pokemon have grown in a really unique way. Check it out. I wonder what that means. Alright, Pokemon Breeder Adrian is on the field. And he's going to send out a Stuffle himself. Uh, judging from our Stuffle, he doesn't have anything non-effective against us, so we're just going to kind of nuzzle and acid spray all over this thing. Alright, we get a good heal on Sod. And now we can start acid. Start using acid on this thing. Make it trip out. Oh, and critical hit. Works out in our favor. And one more acid, and it'll do the trick. And I believe we'll also get a level out of this. Right, there we go, guys. Oh, and a Ralts comes in. It's part fairy type. We might as well acid spray that. Oh, wait. Hold on. This is not a good idea. Um, we're going to go to our steel type. Because that confusion could screw us up big time. And also, guys, uh, whoever's viewing right now, uh, I am streaming this. At the moment, but uh, at 11 o'clock, I will be streaming um, some double battles. And this team was brought to us by a PML member themselves. It's uh, Jeremy. And um, it's actually pretty cool that someone actually gave me a team to use on Battle Spot because I don't really breed as much as most people do. And I, I certainly don't take doubles as seriously as most people do, so. It's pretty cool that we have that ability, that we have people who can submit teams and stuff. And even as regular viewers, if you are not PML group, if y'all want to submit teams, just let me know. Uh, oh, via Facebook. I mean, Joe Zamora. It's pretty easy to find. Charizard picture, and um, or just join PML. It's even easier that way. And I will use your teams on the battle spot. Alright, let's go ahead and keep on moving. I think here's where we get the bike. Oh yeah, this is where we get the bike. But we gotta deal with the uh, Team Fat Ass first. Man, they got some... They got some pride wearing crop tops as fat people. I'm pretty fat myself. I wouldn't be wearing no crop top. Um, just because Sods is still a baby Pokemon, I'm going to go ahead and switch out for uh, my still type here. 
Because, you know, Conker hasn't gotten much use just yet. And I feel like he's ready for some screen time, baby. And if y'all are ever wondering what kind of Pokemon I... I mean, <laughs> what kind of Pokemon? What kind of music I actually listen to? Um, my preferred style is country. Uh, that's just the kind of music I've listened to ever since I was little. And it kind of puts me at ease, especially in, uh, especially in times where I, I'm just feeling weird, or even when I'm happy, uh, it's kind of just music that puts me in a good mood no matter how I'm feeling, you know? But, um, I also love heavy metal. Uh, that kind of music, that... When I'm feeling great, that's the kind of music I'm listening to. Or whenever I need to get pumped. Or, you know, just some just some kind of stuff. Like, uh, I used to play football. And before football games, I would put my headphones in. I would uh, just listen to some, head, some System of Down, Metallica. Uh, I know those... I mean, Metallica is pretty generic. Um... Breaking Benjamin. I actually really love Breaking Benjamin. Uh, I know it's, it doesn't have a great following, but, or at least I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, Breaking Benjamin and stuff like that. That's my shit right there. I, I listen to that. I got, I, I, that. That's one, like, uh, my second band t shirt I actually bought was a Breaking Benjamin one. Um,. The first one I bought was System of a Down. And then I also... I actually bought my wife... Uh, the first... The first... I'm oh, sorry. I'm all over the place. The first band t-shirt I bought my wife was a Tool t-shirt. And uh, the reason I bought it was because... Uh, originally, uh, I bought her some Tool tickets for, uh, I believe, February, it was, and it was close to her birthday, so I was like, you know what, fuck, they were, like, expensive-ass tickets, but I bought them anyway, because I was just like, she's gonna love this, and I was hoping to get, like, physical tickets, because I wanted to wrap them in the t-shirt, and I'd be like, oh, look, I got you a t-shirt, and then when she opened the t-shirt up, tickets would fall out, and she'd be like, oh, shit, what, tickets for Tool? And isn't that? But um, sadly, I couldn't get the physical copies of the tickets, so I bought her the shirt, <clears throat> and I actually forgot to give it to her on Christmas. So <laughs> it was kind of like, dude, why the fuck did you buy the shirt for? You didn't do what you were trying to do. So I kind of bought her the the shirt, and then like. No, it was before Christmas. My bad. It was before Christmas, and I, I already knew I wasn't going to be able to do what I wanted to do. So I was just like, hey, babe, I got you something. And I wanted to give it to you for Christmas, but I can't do what I wanted to do. So I think I should just give it to you now. And uh, she was like, are you sure? Are you sure? And I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I can't do what I want to do, so I might as well, you know, give you the hookup now. Before, you know, it's just like, it's too late. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um. So, we're in the car, driving. I, I think we're going to her mom's house or the movies or something. This is only two places we go. And, uh, I went ahead and I was just like, you know what? Yeah, let, let me just go ahead and tell you the, the gift right now. And, uh, I told her, and I was like, all right, I know how much you wanted these tickets, and we're going to Tool. And she was just look. she just looked at me, and she was like, she went white girl on me. She was like, shut up. I was like, no, for real, we're going to see Tool. She was like, don't play with me. I, I have to, she's Mexican, by the way, so <laughs> for her to do that, I was just, I was off my ass. I was like, we're going to see Tool. 
I spent the money on the tickets. I know they're expensive tickets. I know you really want to see them. We're going. <clears throat> so, she was just like, oh my god, no way. And, man, she didn't stop smiling for like the next three days. Until we went to the concert, really. She was just so excited about it. It made me feel good. It was, it was a great experience. <clears throat> the only thing that sucked, though, was I didn't realize that the tour concert was on a Thursday, and I worked Monday through Friday, so I was just like, God damn. <laughs> I had to work the next day. I didn't realize. I thought it was like a Saturday thing. But it was just like, you know what? It's worth it. it it's a, it's like a once in a it's like a once in a lifetime thing for her because it was like the last chance we had to do something like that. So I was just like, you know what? I can put I can put it aside for myself and we can make this happen. Alright guys, here we go. I warned you, we're both gym challengers who've earned ourselves a grass badge. This is perfect training. Alright guys, we're about to take on our challenger real quick. And um, that's pretty much the summary of the story. I know it took it a little bit, but... That, that was the whole story of how I gave my wife... Really the Christmas of her dreams, I would think. I mean, I don't know how it could have been better. I got her tickets to one of the bands she wanted to see all her life. And she actually got to go and see... Man, at the concert, it was badass. Like, the lighting and everything, it was just fucking awesome. I liked it. I was tired of shit during the whole thing, but I, it was fucking amazing. Ugh, it was great. Uh, I didn't see what Pokemon he was sending out, but I'm going to go ahead and just, uh... Any cheeks, why not? I think it's Snorlax, though. No, Corvus Squire. Oh, that's not good fucking... Oh, wait, it's not still type yet. So, we're, we're good. We're, we're in the green... Uh, oh, in the red zone, I would say. Let's go ahead and go Body Slam. But, um... Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was a great gift, I thought. And then... Going back to what I was talking about, my favorite kind of music, obviously country first, uh, heavy metal second, and then I pretty much listen to everything except like rap. I listen to some rap. Oh, the fuck did you say, drizzle? Damn, I'm just gonna say, go ahead and send out Kraken. I don't give a shit. But yeah, guys, I don't I don't really listen to rap much. Um, I like old hip hop. I like '90s hip hop. He nicknamed it. Oh shit! I didn't know they nicknamed their starter. Fuck it, brutal swing that bitch. You can blind me all you want. This ain't Gen One, bitch. Get out of my sight. Oh, I thought. Kraken would hit a little harder than that with his brave nature, but I guess not. Um, yeah, I don't know. Rap, rap just isn't my thing. I don't mind it. I like I said, I love hip hop of the '90s and early 2000s, but other than that, eh, I could live without it. I really like oldies, like Third Place. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch, you would heal. But, um, yeah, oldies, but goodies, Ugh. like 80s and uh, 80s music mostly, but 70s music as well, and then I could vibe with, like, 50s, like, like that's pretty cool, I like those kind of music. Okay, well, uh, clearly growl affects <clears throat> Brutal Swing, so Brutal Swing only ignores defenses. 
But let's go ahead and see if we can get some knockdowns. Ooh, we lived on three. Oh, dude, we almost lost crack in there. Holy shit. That was close. Alright, we'll beat Hop. <clears throat> Luckily. Jesus Christ. I didn't even realize how low cracking was getting. I was too busy telling freaking stories. And then he gives us a revive, which is useless to us, really, in the long run. Alright, now we're going to go back and heal up. And this is a good time to let everyone know that um, if you're viewing here on Twitch, I always post my streams back up on YouTube. Um, Tuesday, I did stream on YouTube, but for some reason, YouTube was being stupid today, and it didn't let me stream there. So I'm streaming back here until further notice. Uh, as much as I don't like streaming on Twitch, because <clears throat> I don't get much viewers that I, as much as I would want, I would say. I get like two or three. But, um, the, the real thing is, I really want people to comment on the chat and have conversation with me, because that, that, that's what really I feel would keep me driving and going as I stream and make the experience that much, that much more amazing. Speaking of amazing, I know I have a strength Pokemon, and I, I remember saying something about, you gotta use strength on this thing over here, so let's see what happens. Let's talk to it. I could have swore you had to use strength on that thing. Or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. It, I, I guess it's been a little while since... Since I talked about that, but... Oh well. We'll, we'll keep on moving. Let's get on this bike. Now that we finally freaking got it. Thank you, uh, doctor with the face mask. Say, so he's, he's following the COVID-19 code. We have not. We've been, uh, getting within six feet of these trainers and shit. I don't know if this is a new route. Let's go ahead and check out the map and see what it says. No, this is Route 5, so let's go ahead and skip this. Just battle the trainers. <clears throat> and I believe the bridge is not considered a different route, so. Alright, we got Kraken, and we just healed, so thank God. I, I thought I forgot about that. <laughs> and let's just go ahead and go for a Brutal Swing. Ooh, that's a good two coat right there. Leafage is not very effective. I mean, it's neutral since we're flying water. And that's still a two hit. So fuck your super potion. And I didn't see what the next Pokemon was, but let's go ahead and send out Conquer. <clears throat> Let's give Kraken a break here. He took on Hop's whole team. It's Conker's turn. Oh, it's a Woobat. Alright, let's go ahead and just go for a Metal Claw. Tough Claw's boosted, baby. They ain't gonna do shit. Dark resist that. Alright, let's go ahead and do another Metal Claw and end this battle. <clears throat> Again, guys, I'm going to stream this until about 10.50 uh, Central Time. So that's about another 16 minutes. And then I will be streaming um, some battles, which I feel is more exciting for y'all guys. 
I just kind of streamed this because, I mean, why not? I mean, it, I, I feel like it's fun for some people. Oh, this is a good song. If uh, y'all want to know what song it is, uh, it's a George Strait, A Showman's Life. This kind of is actually like a song I've recently just started listening to, so it's pretty cool. There's country songs of favorite singers I've never heard before. So it's like, there's there's no way you can hear them all. Unless you just listen to them, but it's crazy. And down goes Toxic Rook. I don't know the words of this song, though, so I ain't gonna be singing it. I thought I was gonna be singing to it, but I, I don't know the words. Now we're finally in the next town. We're going to go ahead and heal up. And I'm going to check out real quick what level she's really at. Because I don't want to be too under leveled either. <sighs> Galar region. Gym leader. Levels. Wikipedia never steals you wrong. Steers you wrong. Oh, Bulbia didn't fucking help either. Let's see this one. Oh, we did that. I'm gonna heal up as well. Yeah, the Pokemon website doesn't help. Uh. Here we go. Pokemon DV. They never steer me wrong. Alright, so their max level is 24. So, most of our Pokemon are level 22. I'm not going to screw with that much. We're going to go ahead and just take them on as is. And uh, Andy Cheeks is going to pretty much lead the way here. Because, you know, t two levels above us, it's a challenge. It it's better than the first gym. So let's go ahead and take... Oh, man. I forgot about the story. Our sincerest apologies. The chairman is quite busy at the moment. Everyone, please disperse. Please leave now. Okay, see you later, chairman. Oh, fucking groupies. Get the fuck out of here. I can still do more autographs. I need pussy. Look at my belly. I'm fat as fuck. I'll even give you my Pokemon League card. See, his girl is screwing him over. We need the support of our fans. Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> Chasing him off like that? Aren't you a bit harsh, Olina? Fans are important, of course. That's why you need to keep doing your work. For their sake. Fucking lazy-ass fat piece of shit. Oh, look, Bead. I promise to do everything in my power to assist you, Chaman. I don't know why I gave him that accent. Oh, you were here. Bead, sir. That's right, Bead. I dare say, I'm impressed how far you've come since I gave you that Pokemon all those years ago. Will you be one, the one to win the gym challenge? Or perhaps it will be the, one of the trainers endorsed by the champions? <laughs> Fuck those champions and deuce bitches. I will win. And beat is gone. And that's what he really wanted to say. Oh, your name was Joe, right? <laughs> it's about time someone got it right. We were just talking about you. I know, I heard. 
I admit I'm curious about Leon's reasons for endorsing you. Because I beat the shit out of his brother. Duh. Ah, I had a good idea. As tend to us. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. You're going to face gym leader Nessa soon, yes? If you get a gym badge from her, I'll hold a celebration. I'd like to get to know you a little better after all. Chairman, we really must be going. Yeah, you bitch is calling. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. Please do your best for the sake of the Galar region. Dude, you are fat as fuck. Where'd your suit go? The chairman will be heading into this town seafood restaurant. Win the gym badge and join him there at once. Do not keep him waiting. Oh, fuck you, ho. You don't tell me what to do. I do what I want. And since they told me not to keep them waiting, I'm going to keep them waiting. Let's check out the city a little bit. Oh, yeah, this is a good song. It's uh, Wrapped by George Strait. Oh, look, uh, you can take a train over here. I didn't realize that. Ain't left to sail in my head wherever you walked in. These chills run down my chin. Skin beats faster. I'd know your name. I feel my confidence slipping away. My was doing fine. Now to get you off my mind I see your face and then I'm wrapped around Your stupid little finger again I messed up the lyrics But that, that's pretty much how it goes Um, I kind of just wanted to come over here Because th this is the first time uh, They showed off the two, two the, 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 They showed off the two different versions of uh, the toxicities there's the high beat form and the low beat form. And honestly, they, they look kind of similar, but they're not. Uh, one's like a guitar, uh, from what I hear. And then the other's like a bass. So it's pretty fucking cool. And um, at the end of the game, you'll see why that makes a difference. But for now, we're going to go ahead and come in here and take on uh, Nessa. And we got just enough time to... Wait, what the fuck? If you're looking for Jim Leader Nessa, she's off at the lighthouse. I was just at the lighthouse. I didn't see that hoe. Alright, well, I guess we're going back to the lighthouse. Oh, there she is. I fucking didn't see her. My bad. Go down with that if I... You must be a gym challenger, right? <laughs> no shit, why do you think I'm looking for you? You're one of those endorsed by Leon, right? You've been... You've become something of a hot topic among the gym leaders. Here you go, Mr. Famous. The fuck? I already heard about you, so you should learn about me too. Yeah, your lead card is amazing. I'd love to see your loss record. Let's head to the gym. Love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more, and I'm itching to battle you. You might want to get that checked. <laughs> I see your face, and then I'm wrapped around your pretty little finger again. Alright guys, well, we can finally take on the gym. Let's get the hell in here. We've spent enough time diddy-dallying around. Uh, give me a Pokeball, fat guy. Or a Pokeball guy. He's gonna give me the lure ball. I should catch a Totodile in this. Or if I miss, yeah, I should catch a Corsola. Bet y'all didn't know that piece of trivia. Hey there, Gym Challenger. Shall we start the process to get you ready for the gym mission? Let's do it. That's right, you'll have to change your uniform. Change the uniform room. It's located over there. What? Alright, I guess. They're making me do things. Help me, guys. Alright. 
you're in your uniform, head on into the gym mission. Ah, by the way, while you're on the gym mission, you can't use your Pokemon Box Link. Oh, well, clearly, you don't want me cheating. Getting Pokemon out of the PC whenever they're supposed to be in my party already. Oh, that's a good song, too. Desperately by George Strait. <clears throat> I'm not going to sing it, but there's the name. I might sing it. Me. The whole bird Pokemon gym mission is this. A challenge maze. You, and you must reach the goal to clear the mission. However, sometimes the paths may be blocked by water. What should you do then? Try pressing the red button over there and imagine if you were... And I imagine you'll figure it out, future champ. Well, he has great admiration for us to call us future champ. And we're going to go ahead and put Squidward up front. Hopefully we... Oh, wait. We already did. I'm stupid as shit. Uh, let's hope we can get the levels to evolve it. Because I would love a evolve form of Squibbit. Put the radio on. Okay. Desperately, I long to feel your touch, but you left me all alone in love. And we're going to kill this temple with this seed bomb. I think it's uh, pure water, that's why I didn't one shot on the first try. But slowly but surely, we're getting everyone else to level 22, and I figure after we have to battle all these people, we'll be at level 23 or 24 for most of our Pokemon, so we should be good to battle the gym leader. Let's go ahead and keep this shit going. Your touch, you left me all alone. Alright guys, so just so you know, you skip that red one, because you really don't need it. Oh wait, yeah, uh, do we? I don't think we do. We're going to go ahead and push this yellow button and see what the fuck happens. <sighs> Excuse me. But you desperately long to feel your touch, but... You left me all alone in love. Oh, and the seed bomb didn't quite take out the Krabby. But we are trapped in Whirlpool, so no matter what, we can't do anything but attack. So let's go ahead and go for the 100% seed bomb and take out this Krabby. All alone in love. Oh, you know what? I just noticed. This is, this is my second time playing through this game. So it's actually pretty cool that I noticed that um, <clears throat> the floor mat for each battle is actually the gym, the gym uh, badge. That's pretty fucking cool. I never really noticed that. Alright, we got the nuzzle off, and we're just going to keep nuzzling, because it's super effective. Even though it's a Forco, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, we can see if we have better moves to put on this thing. I mean, it is a baby Pokemon, so it's not going to hit that hard. But shit, we can make it hit as hard as we could, though. Oh, by the way, guys, fun fact about me is uh, lately I've been actually getting back into running. Well, not running, but sprinting. And ugh, I have terrible hamstrings. It's fucking crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and get these out of the way. Oh, man. 
Damn it, I should have used a full heal. Uh, super potion. Let's use it here. Oh, this is a good song, too. Living for the Night, George Strait. For some reason, uh, my laptop's just playing George Strait right now, but... God damn, is he a good singer. Um, let's go ahead and go to, uh, this. All around? That's not, that's not nothing. Alright, whatever. Um, they can't learn anything right now. So let's just keep going. I was living for the night. Alright, so this opens up. And now we can check the red one. So it opens that up. And then we can make it across here. Me out of sight. And then we can, I think we can go around. Oh, we gotta go around to the red thing. That's cool. I'm cool with it. Just living for the night. We gotta hit that yellow one again so we can get up the middle. So we gotta take on this broad over here. And don't worry guys, I know we might go over a little bit over for the next stream, but we, we're gonna get this done. We we challenge we came in here to challenge this fucking gym. We're gonna do it. Seed bomb that motherfucker. Motherfucker. Oh it lives on one. Literally. We're gonna go ahead and go for crunch, 100%. No need to waste more seed bombs. Just living for the night. I know I'm butchering the song, but y'all can always go check out George Strait if y'all really want to. Um, <clears throat> Choodle is just pure water, I believe. So it might live this still. But we're gonna go for the seed bomb. Yeah. Plus, the defensive on this fucking thing is brutal. I'm living for the night. I'm living for the stream at this point. God damn. Um, every, well, as you can see, everyone's at a decent level. It's 22, 23. And since the gym, the actual gym is level 24, we really don't want to be over that. Okay, we're kind of stuck. Um, shit. I could have swore I did it right. You know what? Here, let's do this. Alright, we got rid. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh, oh. Okay, we'll come back over here. Shit. Nice little hand. I think I screwed up. Okay. Let's get rid of this blue. We do gotta hit a blue somewhere. But it's not there. With the flow and the tide. Yeah, one, two. Oh, what the hell? Okay. I, I think I got it. Here we go. So we hit the first two. Ignore the rest of these because we got to reset them. Okay. Now we hit this yellow. Leave that red there. Shit. We can't get past this one. God damn it. Okay. We hit the yellow. Now let's hit this red. So first we hit, let's see, the fuck ever else is over there. Alright, anyways, it's not going to matter. I'll go back over, because we got to go this way. Sorry if you are trying to get through this gym and I royally screwed up. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what did I do? Oh, there we go. Okay. 
So basically, <sighs> I feel stupid. You need to get all those other ones running. Don't hit the yellow again because then you'll block this one. So just hit the red, hit the blue, and then all those will be blocked. And then you can go straight to the gym leader. I'm a freaking idiot. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. And gym mission cleared, baby. Alright guys, let's make sure our team is held up perfectly. And it's not. Andy Cheeks. Andy Cheeks, aka uh non-binary Sandy Cheeks needs this fucking health uh health back. And this Andy Cheeks is gonna win us this one as well. I believe it won us the first one. I don't remember <laughs> at the moment. I know uh, Corkle put in some fucking work on the first one, but we're going to make sure we win this one as well. How should I was living? Oh, and look at um, Nessa coming out. Urgh. I know a lot of people think she's Waifu Wednesday, so here's your little treat for the most of you guys. I'm more of a Bea person myself, but she's not in this game, so. Or that. Yeah, you cleared it. Your mind is, is as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. <laughs> and you saw that hair whip she did? Like disrespectful. Alright, Nessa's coming at us. And not in the good way. She threw out Goldine. Here we go. Andy Cheeks is at the forefront. We're going to go ahead and max strike. Forty-three sent out. Squivet. As Nessa sent out a gold ding. Andy Cheeks has been dynamaxed. And it is going... Oh no, Goldine goes first with the Water Pulse. And then Cheeks goes for the Max Strike. And it drops Goldine's speed. And it goes for a Max Strike again, even though Goldine is still faster after the speed drop. Damn. I went, I went big too quick. Oracuda, ain't that bear skew? Bear, oh no, 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 bear skew is of all form. Let's go ahead and just max growth this piece of shit. God damn, man, she's getting his ass eight. All right, everyone else is growing. Levels. She's about to send out Dreadnought. I'm gonna switch out. Because I know I'm losing somebody. And I do not want to lose Andy Cheeks right off the bat. So we're gonna go Scrappy here. Alright guys, here we go. 1v1 against the dreaded Dreadnaw. I wonder why they named it Dreadnaw. But I am going to go ahead and go for the baby doll eyes. Because my little cell phone used to drop its attack. I just told my wife I loved her. 
Hopefully she heard me. <laughs> All right, guys. Now we're taking on this dreadnought. This is a little gift from whatever the hell she just said. Oh, and Scrappy hangs on. But the rain started to fall. Now, this is a battle. A battle between two Pokemon that really want to survive. And I'm going to switch out to Kraken. I do believe uh, Baby Doll Eyes dropped its attack by a few, but Intimidate is going to drop it even further. And it max geysered me, and it's not very effective. So we're going to go ahead and Brutal Swing. I really. I really overdid it on the. God damn it. HP restored. I overdid it on the, what you call it? Ah, uh, what's the word? I overdid it on the Dynamax. I shouldn't have Dynamax so soon. But hopefully Kraken could break through this bulky ass Pokemon. <clears throat> and... Oh, Kraken goes down due to a critical hit. And that is not good for us. Alright guys. Squivet's going to have to lay it down on the line here. And he's going to have to seed bomb. It is four times effective. Shrednaw is not giving us an easy way out. Gym number two is actually being difficult here. With the level difference. And seed bomb goes off. After we take a razor shell. And our defense drops. Okay, guys. This is where boys become men. We're going to super potion. Live the next hit. Hopefully, we do not get a defense drop. And we get a defense drop. That's it, guys. We got to go for it. Seed bomb, baby. Do not oko us. And it all goes Andy Cheeks. God damn it. Alright, Dreadnought has taken out two Pokemon of our on our side. Sod is coming in. And this is our final shot. Let's go nuzzle. Razor Shirt comes in. Defense fall. We live over half. And it is paralyzed so we're gonna switch out to conquer <sighs> we lost two Pokemon on our team we cannot lose anymore he's gonna go for a razor shell do not defense drop okay cool he misses so we go for payday she already used a super potion and it lives it without a care in the world. It's neutral damage. Let's go for Metal Claw with Tough Claw's boost. And it lives. Let's go for it again. And we take out the dreaded Dreadnought. After it takes out two of our beloved Pokemon. God. Damn it. Now we got get now we gotta get rid of Andy Cheeks and Kraken. <sighs> well luckily. Very, very nearly luckily, do we have a Pokemon to take Andy Cheeks spot? But there's no one to take Kraken's spot at the moment. So we'll have to wait and see who we catch in the next episode. But let's finish off this episode for now. How? How can this be? Sai, now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in the gym challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to challenge a champion. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and bum rush through all this and obviously boost Zigzagoon up to our levels with the candies that we have gotten. And next episode, we should be challenging the fire gym leader. So we got TM36 for Whirlpool. I mean, 
Would have been great for Kraken, but... Eh, whatever. And we got the water uniform. And we'll be moving on in the next episode. Oh yeah, there's this bitch. Don't leave Rose waiting. I don't need his card. He doesn't battle, so I don't care what he does. Alright guys, well I'll catch y'all here in a second. I'm gonna go use the restroom, make me a drink, and I'll be back to do some double battles on ranked for doubles. See you guys later.